So all of the roof patterns have done. So the roof, so framing is now complete. And I have also temporarily clamped my internal wall to see how it actually fits. And um, as you can see, I've just sort of clamped it there. And you can see how that's the gap about the size of my two fingers, which is about um, 20 millimeters or two centimeters apart. And that goes all around. Next, I'm going to be screwing all of my top plates that actually joins um, the, especially the corners of the internal frame together. So make it nice and solid. Obviously, the frames will be either nailed to each other or most likely be screwed to each other. I'm just trying to find out the best uh, and the strongest option, but it looks like screws would be the better option so that they don't come apart because there's not much friction in here. And once the uh, top plate, which is that one there, as you can see, goes over, it will go over and then join the two things together. Then I will have my, these are the rafts, rafters. I think that's what they're called. They'll be going sort of across from one, one end to the next. So they'll be going from across, from one end to the next, and that basically will hold the, um, the ceiling jeep rock up. So that's where things are at now. And once I've got that, then obviously the roofing will go on and then the place will be weather sealed. And, oh yes, the amount of time I had to clean leaves, I actually ended up breaking the broom. Work that out. <laughs> That's how much cleaning I had to do and still leaves coming I just have to, like especially in the corners, I have to keep cleaning the damn thing. Won't stay clean. Now obviously I gotta clean all of this before uh, the internal frame is mounted again. This is just a temporarily, luckily. So uh, I might have to put a door or something. So I don't know. That's where all of my cabling for power, electricity, and data is at the moment sitting. And so once I mount um, my internal frames onto the concrete and all the beams are up, or the rafters, then the electrician will come in and start putting, a, there'll be an electrical point somewhere around here, a switch box. And then from the switch box, there'll be cables running for lights as well as power points and switches and he'll also be doing the air ducting system that will most likely be sitting up in that cavity somewhere with um, air suction coming in and another one that actually is going out something along those lines so let me briefly talk about ventilation because once this room is finished, it basically going to be airtight sealed. Um, so there's minimal air movement. Once both doors are closed, there's going to be minimal air movement coming in and out. That means there's no air circulation, meaning there's no fresh air coming in. So ventilation is important. So if I don't put any ventilation system in, basically within couple hours if that depending on how heavy I breathe I'm gonna run out of oxygen so it's really important how um, to implement fresh air coming in to the studio and um, so that oxygen coming in but at the same time 
managing it so that there's no sound escaping from inside here out and external sound coming in. There'll be obviously some escaping anyway, so, but we're going to minimize that. So the electrician that I have, which is going to do all of the electrical work, is something I cannot do. I need to get a licensed electrician coming in to do that. So as he's doing the electrical part, he's actually going to put in some air ventilation system. So air conditionings, it won't work. Later on, I'll, I'll have to find out whether I will put an air conditioning in to condition the, the air inside. So if it's, it's a very hot day and the room is hot, even though it's double insulated, it will, might still get hot. So if it does, then I would turn the air conditioning on until it's nice and cool. And then when, once it's comfortable, turn it off so that there's no noise and then work. But on top of that, there will still need to be ventilation because air conditioning, it only recycles the internal air. So there's no fresh air coming in from the outside. And then that cold air is blowing inside, but it's the same internal air. So air conditioning won't work to replenish the oxygen in the room. So basically what it needs is a, a ventilation system, an exhaust system that will suck outside fresh air in into a vent and then another vent with a, another exhaust fan pulling it out and exhausting it out. So uh, we're going to work out whether we're going to need two exhaust fans when maybe just one to suck out that will automatically suck fresh air in or we just su uh, blow air in or suck air in and the exhaust will automatically just air coming in will, will blow. So we have the electrician will work that out uh, when he comes in to inspect the room and the, the, the inspect the situation. So that's how you have to make sure that if your room is airtight and soundproof and airtight that it's not just about air conditioning because that just changes the temperature of the room but you need to actually get fresh air coming in. You know, there has to be some mechanism and management of that fan coming on and off and making sure um, all works correctly so I don't go and faint. I'm okay, I'm okay. Not yet, not yet. And what do you think I'm going to be able to do with all of these offcuts of wood? I'm certainly not throwing them away. They are actually a perfect way and perfect pieces to construct an acoustic reflector. And just today we had a really bad downpour, actually it hailed, you know, we, we are summer, actually got hailed and the whole place is actually flooded with water because the whole thing is tight sealed, there's nowhere for the water to go and everything is wet. 
I'm just wondering how much damage my panel has and um, my frames as well. I mean, my frames should be fine, but I'm just wondering how much damage the rest of the things would be. So I have to try to dry this out over and out. So here I am, a mop in a bucket, trying to dry all of this rain out of here before it creates any more damage. Arr! Annoying! But after an hour of mopping, I finally have the, uh, the concrete you know, dry enough so it's not high. And then I ended up lifting up the internal frame onto some uh, pieces of wood so that uh, it dries out the bottom part of the frame. Not worried about the external frame because that had sealant on it so that's what uh, kept the whole water in. Um, so obviously the sealant did work it's supposed to keep the water out from the outside but um, having no roof that means the water all just landed right there and pretty much everywhere so um, that's uh, the end of that saga with bucket and a mob trying to uh, clear it all out I'm hoping that um, this weekend I'll be able to put something up there if I can put the panels up there with some insulation um, that should be fine it will keep the water out until the uh, galvanized no not galvanized the corrugated iron roofing is um, installed okay that's it for today time to go inside thanks guys